Hi, good morning everyone. Let's get started with the next topic in this training session which is on roles and authorization. Roles basically is used for granting access, granting privileges to a user and there are different ways to organize the roles. So let's connect to the T code called PFCG. PFCG is the T code for creating roles in an SAP system. Okay, now we are in this particular T code. We can create a role by this name. Say for example, I am creating a role by this name and I can click on this single role tab. So single role tab, this will help to create a role and in this role, you can see there is a description is there. So that is the first thing that we will do. So description is access to say SAP system. Okay, so the description is given. Next, you can see the menu is there, authorization is there, the user, personalization. But I want to highlight this particular field which shows derived from role. So derived from role, basically, we can select a parent role for it. And parent role, probably, what we can do is we can select something called uh, any of the parent role which we have created previously. Say for example, I want to select something, say I want to select say this particular role. Okay, I will search for this role. So basically for the workflow purpose, okay, it gives the message that set migrate in parting role. So this is basically selected as the parent role for it. It is asking do you really want to enter the specified role as the imparting role, select yes. Okay, now this is our parent role. So we can just save this. Okay, so now you can see this menu tab over here. Okay, in the menu tab, you can see display task, display role, display organization, and staff role. So this is basically the field which is populated here. We can go to the authorization tab now and we can go to this tab called change authorization data. I'll just click on this. Here you can see that the profile name is MP Sutra. Okay, and profile is mandatory for any role. So after we generate the role, we will get this profile populated automatically. So for now, let's click on this tab, which is an edit tab for change authorization data. Okay, now here you can see this message is coming up. Just ignore this message, go to the continue tab. Okay, now in this, it is asking for two information that is personal area and plan version. Okay, so let's select the personal area. Basically, we have defined some personal area. These are the organizational. Okay, so let's select this. In plan version, we can select few things. Okay, say for example, let's say current plan. So I have selected these fields over here and now I can just save this. So basically we have defined the organizational levels here. Okay, now the next thing what is required is I need to generate this role. Okay, so there are open authorization and let's generate this role. Okay, so we are generating this role over here and I'll just say go back, save it and we can go to the user tab. Users are, no users are assigned. So let's go to the user tab. Let's assign the user called say test one which we had previously created. Okay, now here you can see this is still red. So what we need to do is we need to do a user master comparison. Just click on this tab. We can save this role before that. And key thing is click on the complete comparison tab. Okay, so this is done. And here you can see everything turns green. So what we have done is we have created a role using one of the parent role. So we use one of the parent role for this. So we can go to the description to see 
which role we have used as the parent role and this is the derived role. So, okay, so this derived role we have selected and here you can see this is the menu authorizations which we have generated and the users to which we have assigned this particular role and after it is assigned we have to do user comparison basically it's user master comparison okay so that way we can generate a role and assign the authorizations to the users in an SAP system okay so now let's go to this details of this authorization tab okay so here you can see profile is populated automatically okay, now let's click on this change authorization data okay so now we are in this particular tab okay so let's expand this okay here we can expand this you can see at the top you have the transaction check basically this is the P code that is involved in this. Okay, here you can see it's human resources. So basically, this is what is there in this. So you can see. Let me expand everything before we continue. Okay, you can see things like organizational level is there, info type which is involved, personal area. So basically, this is the HR data. So let me close this. Okay, at the bottom, this is basically showing the HRP codes. Let's close this. Okay, personal planning. Basically, this is from personal planning. So you can see this uh, info type, planning status, object type, planners, and function code and subtype. So let's close this as well. Okay, so here basically this is what is coming from human resource tab and this is the P code which is there. Okay, so this is actually I wanted to show you guys how this role looks like and how we generate these roles. Okay, so I generate this open authorization, so they have been generated. Let's save it and let's go back. We need to click this generate tab. So generate it. Here you can see everything is green. Okay, so that is what actually I wanted to show you guys how to read this authorization change data and how to create roles and authorization within an SAP system. Okay, thanks for joining and have a nice day. Bye-bye.